Okay, I hope you had a great weekend. We're going to go back to a story that we covered on Friday. Uh, not a lot of people actually watch that video, so you might this might be the first time you've heard about it. But this is about a yacht that was alleged to have been pumping feces, uh, human waste, into the, into a bay in Montenegro. Now, the captain of Moti Yacht Bombay has spoken out after the story on Friday. Now, this 49-meter or 160-foot yacht had pumped out her black water tanks into the bay of Montenegro. Now, the super yacht was accused of causing an ecological incident in the Tivat Bay. The incident is alleged to have occurred on the 3rd of September when the yacht, allegedly in front of witnesses, pumped the contents of black water tanks into the sea. Black, to black water is, as I said, toilet waste. Now, the rules for black water is any vessel, obviously, is governed by the flag state, the set of rules by the flag state. Uh, however, you are, of course, governed by the local laws when you're inside territorial waters. But the general rule is that you can only pump out black water if you're outside of 12 miles of uh, territorial waters. This particular yacht, even though it is a private motor vessel, is operating as a gambling yacht and they are bringing in on private guests and then they have a full setup on board of, of uh, dealers and stuff like that and they're gambling on board. Now the captain has spoken uh, about the sewage dumping claim. Uh, captain Great Banks uh, contacted us and told us that the claims his yacht pumped out the sewage was false. He said the yacht was in an area where wastewater was pumped into the bay. He agrees that that did actually happen. However, it did not come from his yacht. He also refuted claims that the water was black water, uh, as it looks different, he said. That's a quote from him, that it looks different. And it was probably pumped from one of the smaller sailing yachts in the area. Now, he said they should have reported that. Uh, that they saw that in the water themselves because they, they said they identified somebody had pumped something into the water but they didn't they didn't actually report it uh, to the authorities which is a requirement for any vessel that spots waste uh, like this. You can actually get into trouble for not reporting uh, an incident of, of this occurring. He also said, furthermore, we have one of the most advanced sewage treatment systems on board that fully treats our black water under Marple regulations. Now, all modern super yachts have uh, water treatment systems on board, meaning that any toilet waste is treated to remove toxins. Now, Marple rules say that the sewage can be discharged into the seawater only after it is treated, and the distance uh, for the ship to be able to discharge that water is four nautical miles for treated water. Now, if the sewage is untreated, as this was, it can only be discharged uh, 12 nautical miles away from the nearest land. Now, uh, also, the discharged sewage should not produce any visible floating solids, nor should it cause any discoloration of surrounding water. Uh, the, there are different methods of treating sewage available on the market, but the most common of these systems is a biological type, because it occupies less space for the holding tank, and moreover, the discharge generated from this plant is eco-friendly. Now, it's also worth noting that each sewage treatment system install, installed on board has to be certified by Classification Society and should perform per their requirements and regulations. So that's coming from the Classification Society for the yacht when it was built. It is a very unusual situation that a super yacht of that size, a 50 meter super yacht, would discharge untreated waste into the water uh, because they have these systems on board that treat sewage. And basically when that sewage is discharged, it's, it's not, there's no toxins in it. It doesn't damage any marine life or anything like that. Now the captain uh, of, the, of the Bombay said that they spoke to the port state's control and showed them evidence that they had actually emptied the yacht's holding tanks before they departed the marina to head to that bay. So the yacht's tanks were empty and the incidents only took place a few hours after they arrived in the bay. So they emptied their tanks. This is what the captain is saying. They emptied their tanks in the marina, they headed to the bay, and then a few hours later, this, um, this waste was spotted on the surface of the water. So they said they couldn't have been them anyway because their tanks were empty. Now, we, asked, we did ask for them to send over any evidence that, to show that they had discharged in the marina, and he sent back a copy of an email he received from the port, 
and it re reads as follows. We are writing to inform you that after checking our records, we can confirm that the yacht Bombay Bertha A14 was continually connected to the Porto Montenegro vacuum system from her arrival on the 24th of August until her departure on the 3rd of September. And while we do not have records of quantities pumped out, but we can confirm that the valve on the dock to pump out in Porto Montenegro's system was opened by a crew member on the morning of the 3rd at 8-10 hours. He also said, at this stage, no charges have officially been brought against us and no action has been taken and that we pride ourselves on being very professional and have a deep love for the ocean. Hi, thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.